Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Skywind 007. On today's episode, we're going to be looking at this. This is the beautiful digital air fryer to toaster oven. So, it's made by Drew Barrymore. And as you know, I'm a big fan of Drew Barrymore. So much that I plan to buy every single product that she makes. So, I've already got the right here the 14 cup programmable coffee maker and I already have the right here the digital air fryer so on today's video we're gonna review we're gonna review this right here but just to let you know if you wanna see information about these other products just look in my channel and as I go along I'm gonna be I'm gonna be buying every single one of Drew Barrymore's products until I have every single one of them so let's start with the oven okay so before we start let's look at the key features it has a long lasting steel it's a easy wipe clean touchscreen display has a powerful 1500 watt cooking system air fry function for crispy food without the fat and has a convection setting um, that's fast and energy efficient and it has a Fisher 9 features 90 minute keep warm function okay so without further ado let's just open it up but before we open it up let's look at the back of the box and like I said it's made by Drew Barrymore and if you want more information about her products go to cookwithbeautiful.com and by the way I'm not related to her or her company so I'm not doing this for money or anything. I'm just giving you my honest and objective opinion about this. So let's open it up. So you get this right here. Okay, so out of the box was the oven itself. This pan right here with the instructions. And this bottom uh, plate that goes on the bottom of the oven so all the dirt or all the debris falls on it. So let's open it up. So in here you get this, which does look nice. That does look nice. It's a bit weird, but nice. So I'm assuming that'll go right there on top of the that plate. And indoors, inside you'll find that fan right there. Let me turn on the lamp. Okay, so that's the fan right there. You can hear my echo. That makes it into that turns it into an air fryer when you have a fan like that. And it has to be a powerful metal fan. Here's this thing, I don't know what that's for, but here are the heating rods. So they're conventional heating rods, and of course everything inside is aluminum, or metal, tin, whatever it is. Okay, so let's start setting up the oven. The first thing I'm going to do is put the bottom protector. So that goes, this is, this is it right here. It goes in there at the bottom. So that's where all the crumbs are going to fall. The next thing I want to do is get the grill thing. So this is it right there. And here's the pan. So you can either put it on top or the bottom. So it's interesting in the sense that the pan actually is independent from the grill so I've never seen this in an oven before I have never seen an oven where the where this pan can be independently put in there without this which is kind of cool because if you want to protect the bottom of something like for example pizza you can you can put it like that the pizza in here that protects the bottom of the pizza so it doesn't overcook and mainly the heat is going to the top 
and you can do the opposite. If for any reason you want to cook something from the bottom up, you, you can put that at like that. Let me turn on the light. So you can put that on the top. And then that would cook from the bottom up. So I have never, I've had, I've had several ovens over my lifetime and I've never had anything like this. So this is absolutely a pleasant surprise. So I'm very happy about that. So far this oven is absolutely exceeding expectations. Okay, so now let's look at the fan and let's watch it turn on. Um, now I want to power it up and see how the interface works. So let's um, connect it. Here's the cord. So it's a standard US cord if you live in the United States. Okay, so here's another pleasant surprise. I didn't know this thing had a clock. So let's set the clock at 6, 16 p.m. So if I can figure how to do that. Okay, so in order to set the clock, you have to go over here and let me turn off that light. You come over here. Turn it on. And then you go time. And then you use the knob to make a selection. I'm going to say 617. 17, but I did the, the hour wrong. It's PM, so it has a AM and PM. I've never seen an oven actually tell you it's PM or AM. So this is just an amazing, unusual oven. It's like from another planet. It's weird. And by the way, when you, when you turn it up like that, it looks so cool in person. I, I cannot describe it. It's just elegant. And when you close it like that, it has a very satisfying whoop. It has this two rubber right here. It has a gasket and it has this rubber thing and it has this, I don't know. It's just very pleasant, very nice and quiet. It feels so good to do that. But anyway, let's go back to this. And in person, it looks so beautiful. It's like... It's like the, the, I would call this the Mercedes Benz of ovens. If you get this, you might think, oh, you're just getting a, all it does is going to cook. But you could say the same thing about a Mercedes. All it does is take you to, from point A to point B. Yeah, it's true. But it does it in a super pleasant way when you drive a Mercedes or a BMW or a Lambo. Well, same thing here. You get, you get a lot of enjoyment out of it. It's not just cooking. You get a lot of enjoyment out of it. Okay, folks, so now I want to examine the interface of the menu and see the 10 functions that this oven does have. So to enter the menu, you go over here and you have six functions on the top and then you have an additional four on the bottom. So let's look at the top ones. You have warm. You use the knob to move around. You have pizza. Let's move. Cookies. Slow cook. Reheat. And dehydrate. So they all have um, temperatures with the exception of slow cook which you can choose low or high and those are the six functions on the top and on the bottom you have air fry you have broil bake and toast bagel now toast bagel does not have an actual temperature it just has L1, L2 L3, L4, L5, L6, and L7. So there are seven possibilities, seven levels of cooking for the toasting. 
that being the toast or bagel. So that's how that works. And the time button on the top on the top right now that changes the clock. So anytime you set something up, for example, if you wanted to make pizza, because I do make a lot of pizza, I would go here and then I would select pizza. And then when you start, it's gonna do all it's gonna do the preheating. After that, it's gonna do the countdown. So let's look at that again. Let's do cookies this time. Or let's do, yeah, let's do pizza again. Pizza. And let's start. Preheating. And now it's doing the countdown. 16 minutes. And the reason why I did that preheating so fast is because I've, I have already been testing it. So it's already warm in there. So it's, it takes um, a lot faster to get to the optimal temperature. But um, normally it takes about two minutes to preheat. So that is pretty good. So the next thing I want to do is put some food in there and let's see how that comes out. Okay, folks, so we are going to do a test. And like I said before, you do have this um, six, six um, options, preset options on the top and four on the bottom for a total of 10. And you can modify any of them. Those are just general suggestions. So you can tweak them to your liking. I'm going to do pizza. So I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to select pizza. So it's already at the temperature that I like. The only thing I'm going to change is the time. I don't do 16 minutes. I only do 3 minutes. And then I'm going to start the uh, I'm going to press start and it's going to start preheating. And once it's done preheating, we're going to put the pizza in there. So let's start the pre preheat. And the pizza's over there. So once it's um once it's done preheating, we just pop it in. So let's wait. Okay, so let's quickly put the pizza in there. And now the countdown starts for three minutes at 350 Fahrenheit. Two minutes. One minute. Pull this out. Okay, so I think I did a little bit too much time, but overall, very nice. Okay, folks, so while this cools down, I was trying to eat it, but it's still too hot. We're going to do our next test, which is going to be these chicken nuggets. They're pre cooked. And um, I don't know the exact amount of time that they require, but I would say maybe seven minutes, eight minutes. So let me just put them in. There we go. Let's close that up. Oh, let's set them flat like that. All right, so let's turn this on. And this time I want to do bake. I'm going to select bake. So 350 is my temperature. I think that's, let me do temperature. I think 350, three, I'll, I'll do 345. 345. And then the time I said 30 minutes is too long. That'll burn them. I say, I'd say seven minutes, maybe eight minutes. So let's just start. So it's preheating. So this is our next test, the chicken nuggets. So we did pizza and then I want to do, I don't want you to tune away yet. I want to do the toast. 
And I'll see if I have bagels. I don't think I have bagels, but I'll do toast. And, it's, and I'll see what else I have in the refrigerator. So we'll get a good idea what this oven can do. Because if you're going to buy this online, uh, you're going to pay, I, I believe, over $100. You want to know exactly what you're getting into. You don't want to be having to return this. So I want to make a very good review. So let's wait. So right now we are cooking the chicken chicken nuggets. And after we're done with the nuggets, I want to try chip, uh, fish and chips. That's uh, for people that live in the UK. We got one more minute to go. Okay, folks, so the chicken nuggets are finished. So let's take them out. You can hear them sizzling. These are very, very good chicken nuggets, by the way. Although they do take a long time to cool down, so you, you can't, you can't make them in a hurry. You have to be patient. So anyway, now let's put the, let's put this, um, let me move this out of the way. The sizzling, fish and chips so I'm gonna put that over there I'm gonna use this tool this is used for grabbing the um, skillet thing like that so here's our frozen fish and chips <coughs> let me turn on the lights and let's turn on the oven so for that, I would think that I'm going to need, hmm, I would say 15 minutes. So let me turn this on. Let me air fry. Temperature should be, I would say 300. Yeah, 300 because it's very thick. And the time should be, I'll give it 15 minutes. So let's start. So it's going to preheat and then it's going to start the countdown. So in the meantime, while that cooks, I'm going to be enjoying this off camera and then I'll tell you how it went. Okay, so we are still cooking the fish and chips for all you British folks. And so far, this chicken nuggets are absolutely perfect. I love them the oven is doing its job and making them nice and crispy and that's because it has a fan it's not nothing magical there it just has a fan and that fan is what makes all the difference without the fan you would have all the um, you would have a, a lot of burning on the top and then it would be raw in the bottom or the center wow so it smells like Kentucky fried chicken in here but anyway let's take the food out it's ready and um, I'm going to use my special tool to pull it out. Wow. Fish and chips. So let's put it over here. It won't damage the table because it is just a piece of wood. So wow, that looks nice. So I will be indulging off camera. We will be testing the toaster function. There we go. So let's see if it'll close. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's a total of nine in there. So let's close this up and let's see how that works out.
Wow, I can't believe it. Nine breadth. Okay, so for toasting, where's oh, here we go. Toast, bagel, and then we have these options over here. We have a maximum of seven, minimum of one. So I'm gonna do five. So that's kind of in between. So let's press start. So it's gonna take about seven minutes, a little over seven minutes to do all this. Okay, so while that happens, I'm going to be enjoying this and I'll tell you how it came out. And we'll see how this bread comes out. I'm not going to eat all those nine breads. This is just for demonstrations. I'm not crazy. But I know that there are people out there that will eat nine breads all at once. Or maybe you have a, a medium sized family and everybody wants to eat three of them or two of them. So anyway, let me start working on that. This is fantastic. It's very nice and flaky. Everything's well cooked. So we're still, still got about a minute to go over here. Already looking nice. Very, very nice. Okay, folks, so our bread is finished. Oof, a lot of steam coming out. Be careful. So anyway, let's um, bring it out and see how it came out. Let's pull this out a little. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So here's our plate. So I did leave it, I think, a little bit too long for my, for my preference. I normally don't toast it this much yeah that's too much for me so L4 was too much probably L2 or maybe L3 I did L4 but you don't have to do L4 you can do either L3 or L2 I think L1 would be too light and definitely anything over L4 is too dark like L7, L6, or L5 is too dark. But um, there are crazy people out there that want to burn their bread. So overall, I am happy here. Let me put that back. So there's a lot of bread crumbs when you cook bread. You, you can see right there. So that's what, that's what this is for right here. You can put some foil if you want on this so you don't have all these... You don't have anything stick to it. But this is nice. Okay, so before we move on, I do want to make a comparison with the, um, the beautiful toaster oven and the beautiful air fryer. So although they both air fry, they, um, this is more of a dedicated air fryer right here than this one is. So this one has a much larger fan and everything is cons everything is airtight in there. So if you're going to if you want speed definitely this one I think it's a little bit faster than this one. But they both do the, basically the same thing. The major difference would be I would say size because this one is definitely smaller. And this one uses up a lot of room. Although this one is a little taller, but um, definitely this one is a lot of space cons consumption. Although they both um, have a, a platform at the top, this one gets very hot. So you really can't put fragile things over here because it does get hot. There's a label there that says it gets hot. But overall, they're, they're both great. If you look at this... This one has a, a simpler menu. This one has a more uh, complicated and elaborate. This one doesn't have a clock. I wish it did. And and this one obviously does have this um, very nice clock with an AM and PM indicator. 
But anyway, these are products from Beautiful. They're very nice. I'm very, very much loving them. And um, I have no complaint on either of them. They're both fantastic. And I recommend them. I recommend uh, these products. I'm a big fan of them. And by the way, I'm not being paid to say this. I bought this with my own money. I didn't get it for free. And um, I have nothing to do with the company or Drew Barrymore. I'm just giving you my honest opinion. And I absolutely do love this. All right, folks. So we have reached the end of this review. So overall, I'm giving this a five star out of five. If I could give it more than five stars, I would definitely give it more than five star. It's perfect for me. Um, that I guess that varies depending on who you're talking to, but for me, it's absolutely amazing. So it does um, cook anything you want to cook in there. I even think it's probably big enough for a small chicken, but I, I don't have a chicken. So, I would say yes. You could probably, maybe not. I would have to do a test. So, I'm going to do an update on this oven. And I'm going to see if I can make a, a, a whole chicken in there. With skin on. And see how that works out. But, in this video, we did the pizza. And then we did the fish with um, chips from England. And, um, and then we did the toast from anywhere in the world. So, Everything went perfect. I have no complaints. It's nice and quiet. It has that fan in there, which I wasn't able to show very well, but it's there and it sounds very nice. So the menu is very interactive. You have these 10 options. All the 10 options are adjustable in terms of time and temperature. And then it has this knob right here, which makes it very easy to make a selection. So definitely I'm absolutely loving the knob. It's perfect. So it's absolutely beautiful, just like the name, beautiful. And like I said, this is the first oven, toaster oven that I have that actually has the time on it. So you know that I mean, it's kind of like a microwave oven where you have the time on it. And we didn't get, I didn't get a chance to test the other, the other, um, the baking thing. Let me get it. This air, this um, air frying rack over here, which you can put in there. So definitely, this oven does give you does gives gives you a lot of space if you want to cook a lot of things. There's a lot of space on the bottom and the top, so it's impressive. Definitely, when it comes to space, it's an impressive oven. So overall, I absolutely recommend this for anybody. 100% perfect, no complaints, best oven I have ever owned. So thank you for watching, subscribe, and thumbs up.